Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about insulin resistance and electrolyte absorption. Okay, What is insulin resistance? It's a situation whereby insulin doesn't work very well anymore, it's not going into the cell. And insulin is like the key that opens a door that not just regulates blood sugars but helps you absorb electrolytes. And that brings me to the next thing right here. Electrolytes are electrically charged minerals like potassium, magnesium, calcium, and sodium. And these minerals um, allow the nerves to conduct uh, their nerve impulses. They also control muscular contraction and relaxation. So they have a lot to do with movement of things uh, with muscular, nerve, and even fluid. Okay, So if someone has a problem with electrolytes, they have a pacemaker problem with the heart. So the rhythm of the heart isn't quite right. They can have atrial fibrillation, uh, skip heartbeat, palpitations, things like that, blood pressure issues, fluid retention, dehydration, constipation because your colon is all muscular as well. So you can have all these issues right here. And that's why you see a lot of these problems with a diabetic, okay, because they have insulin resistance. The point uh, on this video is just to show you the relationship that insulin controls these minerals. So here you are, if you're trying to fix this by taking electrolytes, it's not going to work. You have to improve insulin. You have to allow um, allow this insulin to go in the cell to be able to pull these in. Now it's going to help by taking these minerals to start to allow insulin to work better. So you can improve insulin resistance by taking electrolytes, but you will never correct it unless you actually fix the insulin resistance in the first place. All right. So you really want to do both. Now I put a link down below of what I'm going to recommend that you eat to improve insulin resistance, and you're going to find just by that your absorption of the nutrients will start going in, all the minerals will start going in, versus not knowing about that and ending up taking all these electrolytes and wondering why it's not working, right? So we must fix this, and the way that I do it is with keto and intermittent fasting, all right? So go ahead and apply that, and go ahead and uh, put your comments down below.